Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you an overview video of my workflow on retouching macro shots of lips. But before I get to the video, I have an exciting announcement for you. I'm close to crossing 5000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I ask you guys in my community tab what you like in return for such a support. And you all said that you appreciate some critique or feedback video on your photography and retouching. So I decided to do photography and retouching feedback slash critique on your images. How you can participate? It's easy. Send me two before and after images or four beauty photos from your portfolio on my email photo at verachange.com at subject line portfolio feedback. Make sure you do that before I cross 5000 subscribers because that's when the video will go live. Doesn't matter if it will be a week or a month from now. To speed up the process, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and maybe share some of your favorite videos with your friends and followers. But now, without further ado, let's jump into the macro lip retouching. As usual, I'm starting with connecting my vacuum retouching tablet, duplicating my background layer and starting to clean all the imperfections on an empty layer. This time I'm using a spot healing brush turned into dark and blending mode to make sure I get rid of all the lighter imperfections and later switching for the lighten blending mode to get rid of all the dark imperfections. When it comes to retouching macro images, the important thing is to make sure the raw file is as perfect as it could be. So if you are a photographer, make sure you're using a macro lens to capture such images and your makeup artist did as good as possible job applying the makeup or any other elements on the picture. In this case, we applied the lipstick, so I made sure that the lip line and the lipstick is applied as perfectly as possible, so I have very little retouching to do. It's also worth considering working with a model that has a very clean skin, very little facial hair and uh, the shape of the lips that you're looking for. I'm doing my cleaning in two separate steps. One is just for skin and the second one is just for lips. If I need to come back and change anything or lower the opacity of certain layers. As you can see, I switched from a spot healing brush to a clone stamp tool to slightly alter the lip line to make it look appear sharper and more clean. After I'm done with the lips and the skin, I'm moving on to retouching the lipstick as it's a major part of the picture and I want to make sure that, that the texture of the lipstick stands out really much. That's why I decided to duplicate the high layer copy of a frequency separation to give it a little bit more sharpness. With the help of a mask, I'm only applying the frequency separation adjustments to the lipstick and nothing else. After I'm happy with the results of the cleaning of each part of the image, I'm moving on to the dodge and burn that it's a massive part of my retouching workflow, as you might know from my previous videos. If you want to see how to use the dodge and burn and create your own dodge and burn action, make sure you check out the video that I linked in the upper corner here. When it comes to the and burn, I'm trying to fix the shadows and the light, make sure the transitions between those two are very seamless and therefore making the skin look smoother and more polished. I'm dodging and burning with the help of a curve adjustment layers and a layer mask together with a white soft brush on a low flow. When you're dodging and burning, it's always important to use both the dodge and the burn adjustment layers to make sure you're keeping the balance and of course zooming in and out into the image to make sure the overall look is good. Switching the black and white helping layers on and off will also help you to make sure you're staying as natural as possible and you don't go too far with your dodging and burning.
this case I again retouched all elements of the picture separately. So I started with uh, retouching skin with the dodge and burn and then I created separate set of curves just to retouch the lips and the lipstick. Keeping your work on the different layers will help you with the later adjustments. You can always bring down the opacity of each element accordingly. After I was done with the dodging and burning, I move on to quick liquify to further sharpen and define the lip line and make very subtle adjustments. After I was happy with the cleaning and the skin retouching, it was time to move on to the color grading. With the help of color range mask, I've selected all the colors of the lips and the lipstick and tweaked them slightly to make sure I've created a little more appealing and more vibrant color. After that, I've created a mask selecting only the skin tones and I gave them a light color grade. Using a mask that I previously created and a solid color adjustment layer turned into saturation blending mode, I made sure that the lips and the lipstick are very vibrant in color and saturated enough. Before I moved on to final color grading touches, I noticed that the lipstick texture is a little bit off, so I fixed it with a clone stamp tool, making sure my clone source lines up perfectly. You can do that if you go to window and clone source and you can adjust the angle of your cloning source as you need. What's left are final touches with regards to color. So I run quick infinite color panel script to make sure the whole image looks appealing. So as I said guys, if you start with a good image that's almost perfect, especially when it comes to macro photography, then the retouching will be quite easy and enjoyable and you'll end up with some amazing results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any future uploads. And if you want to participate in my next video that will be a critique or feedback on your portfolios, go back to the beginning of this video to see how you can get involved. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye!